So this is Ivy Cottage, coming through a little entrance vestibule. Double front door. Okay, so that. View at the front. And down the street. A bit of firewood there already cut up. So we're coming through here. So the front of the building, this is the lounge. Uh, built in about 1860, uh, Ingonet fireplace, lots of wood there. Uh, meter is up in that top corner. Uh, walls are about 18 inches thick. Uh, lovely and cool in the summer and uh, nice and warm in the winter. So uh, lounge, two windows, front door, oh. all new double glazing downstairs. And then it goes through some nice beams here. Smoke alarms all plumbed in and then into the kitchen area. So our kitchen's about four, four or five years old. Uh, it's a Helms, um, got a built-in oven, etc. Uh, five ring induction hob, um, dishwasher under there. You can just hear going in the background. Extractor, um, radiator here, and this is uh, a larder. The light comes on. My favourite little cupboards. Close that up. Um, underfloor heating in this part. So this this part here is 1970, 1860 at the front. Uh, this used to be the kitchen and is now a playroom. Stroke office for me when I can try and get in here. Um, and a little understair cupboard there full of toys at the moment, but a useful little space. Uh, come back out of here. So into the dining area. Um, underfloor heating under here, which is lovely. Um, you've got two Velux. Uh, this one's electric, so if you have it open and it rains, the uh, it will close automatically for you, which is a brilliant little trick. Uh, beautiful lighted uh, room and uh, big bifold doors, which open out fully and create a great space into the garden. Uh, we then go through into the utility. So um, washing machine, tumble dryer there. Again, heated um, floor here. Um, sink, go out to the normal back door. And obviously the normal rubbish of shoes and coats uh, into the back garden. And in the utility as well, you've got, open the door up, turn the light on, and you've got a downstairs loo and a shower. Um, we do like that. You yeah, a nice underfloor heating in here too. So that's downstairs. Give it a little look through that way. And, uh, and back look through that way. Uh, we spend most of our time in this room. It's a great family room. Um, and the whole extension, this back extension was built uh, five odd years ago. So coming through the playroom stroke Office, uh, go upstairs. It's nice and quirky up here because it's so old. So you've got different levels of floor, which we love. They'll drop down, different angles here. So these are the two front bedrooms. So it's a good size. We've got bunk beds in here for the boys at the moment. Our boys, uh, built in cupboard in the corner there and big thick walls, which you can look out to outside. To the neighbours, very quiet road out there, and then come into the second bedroom. A little bit dark here at the moment, but not too bad. And um, again, built in wardrobe there. A little step up back into the middle of the cottage, and then into the main bedroom. Big built-in wardrobes right across, get lots and lots of stuff in there. And back into there. You can look down the garden, across into green fields over the way. Um, so the uh, the whole house had brand new windows, put in double glazing, put in five years ago, part of the extension, and all new radiators all the way around, uh, which has made a big difference and insulated everywhere. And then into the bathroom. Uh, lovely big bathroom, we love this room. So you've got a uh, shower and bath there. 
and uh, into here, bring it around. And in the corner there, you've got a um, airing cupboard and a sealed um, hot water system, uh, which is again brand new five years ago. Uh, lofts, there's uh, they're small lofts. They're only about oh, three foot high. There's a hatch here. It's boarded partially upstairs. And there's another hatch there for the first apex. And then the second apex, there's a bit more storage space up there. And um, yeah, so that's Ivy Cottage. Uh, we've been here 21 years, uh, loved living here. It's a fantastic village, uh, great people. And uh, we're gonna be sorry to move. So I hope you like it. I'll come back down to the start again, back downstairs. And back out to the front.